Ken Scott of Danbury is a junior. Nelson Chirillo of Norwalk is a sophomore. And we are Can getting I? ready for this 119 pound well, championship match. And our unofficial score is uh, Danbury now only seven points up on, uh, on Norwalk. Once again, in this particular case, uh, experience goes to the Danbury side, uh, but uh, Nelson uh, scores a very quick takedown. Two nothing, Nelson Guerrero. Ken Scott scrambling to get out of bounds and is able to do so to relieve the pressure with 140 left first period of the 119 pound championship match. All set. Get on. Rilla working on that right leg of Scott. I've been very impressed with uh, Nelson Sherlow's uh, balance. He always seems to be, his weight is well distributed. And he's a young wrestler, but he's showing a great deal of promise. And John, for fans at home, it seems at certain times the referees Bottom will man. allow Top man's going to use them. The optional start. You want to reset? You hold it right there. Top man, optional start. Get on. And it looks like Nelson is going to let him up for one with the uh, intent of taking him down for two points. Boy, you never really want to give your opponent points, but I guess it's... When, when you're confident with your takedown <laughs> move. I was going to say, as they go out of bounds again, there are times when the referee will allow parts of the body to be outside that, that white Correct. line. As long as the uh, supporting element uh, for uh, one of the wrestlers is in bounds, uh, they will generally let uh, action continue. I've worked the middle. Stay off the line. And the referee is warning them to wrestle in the middle. They're both uh, looking for a little bit of security by kind of wrestling the edges so they can bail out uh, out of bounds if necessary. Under a minute left, first period. It is two to one. Nelson Chirillo leading Ken Scott. Norwalk against Danbury. Ken Scott, 21 and four this year, the Danbury Holiday Champion. And Nelson Chirillo is 18 and three, 40 and 11 lifetime. And a takedown right there for Chirillo. Takedown. Four one. Work up, work up. Getting great now. That's it, keep working, come on. And the official. Keep working. The referee is prompting them to keep working. Chirillo now trying to get leverage to throw him. Yeah, he would like to, he would like to turn him, but he'd be very happy to go into the second That's period with a three-point uh, lead. So that uh, strategy of letting him up and taking him down did work, or appears to have. We still have three seconds left. Down to one, and that's the buzzer to end the first period of action. After one period at 119 pounds, Nelson Shirello of Norwalk in the green. The first. Leading Ken Scott of Danbury. Man, the first to green. One. Green wants down, second period. There you have the setup. Shirello will start down. Choosing. He's choosing okay. down because uh, yeah. he, he believes he can get out and you have an opportunity. It's, it's more yeah, difficult to down. score from the top it. than it is from the bottom, usually. Get up, get up, and get so, up. Uh, Caution, red. N Nelson believes uh, reset. there may have been some error when the Danbury uh, uh, wrestler was lining up. Be careful where you put your foot down, okay? Yes. Be careful where you put your foot down. Get on. There we go, second nice period. Quick move off the whistle, and he went into uh, kind of a half stand up and, and uh, did a, a beautiful switch. And they have awarded him the two point he reversal. Works, he works, he works and he's got six one now. He works two in. points for Chirillo, trying again to turn over Ken Scott of Danbury. And the, well, the Hatters have been less than impressive, John, in the beginning of this championship match. Yes, and, and uh, conversely, uh, Norwalk has been extremely aggressive. These are the that Danbury has worked into at least a neutral position right now. If they go out of bounds right now, they probably give Danbury one point. He may convert that into two. He's going to get one. one. All right, so that's the second point for Ken Scott. It is now six to two. Danbury, the top-ranked team in the state. Norwalk ranked third. Yes, they both dominated in this state this year. Uh, very powerful. They'll they'll meet again in the Double L uh, Championship, and that should be uh, a great tournament. 
Out of bounds. Under a minute left in the second period. 57 seconds to be exact. It's 6-2. Cirillo of Norwalk over Ken Scott of Danbury. And at this particular point, Nelson Scott cannot afford to give up another takedown. He so he's, re he's really had to go after that takedown, but the shot was taken by Nelson Cirillo. But ne ne neutralized at this particular point. Now Nelson is on his stomach, and that's not a good uh, defensive position to be in. He comes back up to his knees and works close in. Tries a trip, and they're going to go out of bounds. Cirillo is showing me some strength right there to be able to lift Scott and get to his to his feet. Great leg strength there, and again shooting for the legs. And he's going to that's that's going to be tough to come back from. Two more points for Nelson Cirillo. It's 8-2. And on that particular move, he, you, you, you might have noticed that Nelson made a move to uh, Ken Scott's face. Ken took the, the fake, and Nelson went right underneath him, right to his leg. Six seconds left, second period. Probably heading to a third, and we are. 8-2 to two now, Nelson Cirillo of Norwalk. Leading Ken That's Scott of Danbury. Good show, up, down, and down. Danbury's going to take down that. to try to score some points with an escape or a reversal. And really, with a six-point lead at this particular point, I would say it looks hey, like Norwalk is going to let him up for one and try to take him down for two again. Optional start. You want to reset? Right there. Top man, optional start. Get on. That's what he's done. Go on, again, Cirillo lets him up. Scott receives a point for the simple escape. I could pick up that point. <laughs> And we have an 8-3 score with 145 left in this match. That's it. Keep working. Keep working. Ken Scott has to work a takedown very quickly here because he has to score several takedowns to make up for that five-point lead unless he makes, oh, my goodness, a beautiful uh, leg drop. And uh, Cirillo, another two points for Cirillo. He's, he's gone low quite successfully in every period. Y yes, he has. And... Uh, you, you can't score points unless you shoot takedowns, uh, uh, and uh, the, the person shooting takedowns is uh, uh, Nelson Cirillo. We are seeing a, through the first three matches, a lackluster performance by Danbury and a spirited effort by two Norwalk wrestlers trying to get the Bears to make up a 14-point deficit, which Norwalk began this championship round facing against Danbury. Keep working, keep working. It's 10-4. Scott picked up a point for the escape with 45 seconds left in the match. Neutral, neutral. What Nelson Shrillo is trying to neutral. do right now is he's trying to get Bill neutral. at least to an eight-point advantage, and then he'll score another team point for Norwalk. Uh, that was a low through, and they're not going to award any points. Charlie Anderson, the Norwalk coach, moment. Down. leapt to his feet. 35 seconds remaining. Cirillo of Norwalk leading Ken Scott of Danbury, 10-4. Nope, I think they're supposed to be in the neutral position. What's that? Yes. Now, if Nelson Cirillo scores a, t uh, a takedown here, he'll go up by eight points. If he rides Ken Scott out, he will have an eight-point victory. And rather than scoring 14 now. points, he will now score 15 points. Working, and at this working. particular point, every point is important for Norwalk. Unofficially, we have them trailing by seven starting this match. Plenty of time, really, for the, for the Bears to catch up. Up! No points awarded. 11 seconds left. They're down to five. He just picked that up. And two more for Shirillo. It's 12-4, and that's it. Nelson Shirillo with an eight-point victory. Five more Come points back, back for the Bears. Well for the final, Cirillo beats Ken Scott. Mike Neff, no. John, we talked about it early, that Norwalk needed to win everything and have Danbury lose just about everything, and so far, <laughs> it's working out that way. We still have a long way to go, but uh, yes, uh, that seems to be the trend. We get ready now for our 125-pound matchup. Just to review, the last match won by Nelson Cirillo we we'll take a look at Shirillo's last point. That final takedown, John. What kind of move is it? It looks like he's, uh, uh, the Danbury kid goes for a, uh, a 